welcome back to Tech with AGR. And in this video, I have bought a damaged laptop for £35, about $50. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing it, showing you its faults, and hopefully mending it to give it a new lease of life. Before we begin, please remember to subscribe, like, and hit that bell. It's completely free and will be massively appreciated. Now, let's get into the video. As I previously mentioned, this laptop was cheap at £35, and it arrived in this tattered box that says Chromebook on it. So, opening up the box, we see the device itself, and the charger, which at first glance seems normal. until you see how ridiculously small the pin connector is. Just for comparison, this is the, the refill of a biro, and this is the pin connector, and that charges the 11.6 inch laptop. The laptop in question is a Samsung Chromebook 11.6 inch. And surprisingly, the overall condition of the laptop isn't too bad considering the age. The primary damage appears to be light scratches on the top and bottom plastic panels. Now onto the specs. Well, they aren't great. This laptop has 2 gigs of RAM and a 16 gig SSD, both soldered to the motherboard. They aren't going to come off. These aren't great specs, but I think they're still passable as a secondary device or for someone that, has, that does very light usage. Not to mention, I'd say they're pretty respectable for the £35 price tag. This is why for some people, Chromebooks can make excellent budget or secondary devices, as though they aren't the most powerful, they can be really cheap, especially used, and have virus protection built in. Well then, why was this device so cheap in the first place, and what's actually wrong with it? Well, if I lift the lid, you'll find out. All seems well and good. Till the LCD comes on, because that is absolutely destroyed. You can barely make out anything on it. As a matter of fact, you can, you can hardly see the sign-in screen for Chrome OS. This is why I went online and purchased a replacement screen for the Samsung Chromebook, which I'll be fitting in this video. So after powering down the device, the first stage of the process to remove this old screen is to remove the plastic bezel surrounding it. Also, a quick tip when you are prying off this front bezel, just be careful of the camera bump because you don't want to damage the sensor below it. Another thing to note when taking off this front bezel is that there is some adhesive along the bottom here. So you might have to pry a little bit harder along the bottom strip where Samsung is written to remove the bezel itself. As you just saw, I have removed the plastic bezel that surrounded the LCD, and now I can get on to removing the LCD itself. To do that, I will need to remove the four screws that hold it in place. One, two, three, and four. The screwdriver size I'm using to do this is a quadruple zero Phillips head screwdriver. You could probably get away with using a triple zero or maybe even a double zero, but I'm pretty sure a quadruple zero is the right way to remove the screws. Now that has been done, the display is free and can be folded down on to the keyboard. The final stage from the old LCD display is to unclip it by pulling up on this little tab. Once that's up, it has unlocked the old display and the connector. So you can pull it out. 
And there is the old damaged display from the Samsung Chromebook. Now, let's fit the new one. Here is the new display that I'll be fitting to the Chromebook. It was an 11.6 inch unit and it should go straight in. So now I'm just going to reverse the process of removing the other screen to fit this new one. So after fitting the new screen, it is time for the first power-up of the Chromebook. And there we go. All seems to be well. The Chromebook seems to work. But there is one thing I noticed. Though the Chromebook does work, the hinge appears to be creaking and making a lot of noise. I don't know if that can be picked up on camera, but... I personally think the creaking is coming from the hinge screws. So, I'm going to open the Chromebook up and tighten them. This will also give me an opportunity to show you how to replace the screen if you bought the entire top case assembly. Now the back panel is removed, I can show you where the hinges are on this Chromebook. And they are operated by these screws. These hold the hinge in place. And on the other side right there. By tightening these, I should avoid the hinge creak that I was hearing earlier. Also, if you were trying to remove the screen and the front bezel and the entire top assembly from here, you would undo this display connector here and take out the hinge screws. That should allow you to remove the entire display assembly. Now that the Chromebook's in working order, let me sign in and tell you what you can actually do with a £35 Chromebook. Well, for starters, gaming is pretty much impossible. You get very low frame rates if you play anything more than a 2D game and generally, as you can see by the Kronka gameplay, it was ridiculous. Even with the render turned to the absolute minimum, the FPS was very low, it was very laggy. The 2 gigs of RAM and the very weak graphics do not help with that at all. So, aside from very basic and or 2D games, you can't game on this device. However, this laptop is great for media consumption. Despite the display being 720p and viewing angles not being the best, it is still pretty good for watching videos, surfing the web, viewing emails and typing documents. So now onto the question, would I recommend this device? That is a tough question. I would say yes if you can buy one at this price that's damaged and fix it for about another £35, so £70 all in you've got a really nice working Chromebook. Considering it has got antivirus and makes a decent enough second computer, I would recommend it for that price. However, any more than that for this particular Chromebook with only 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage, I would steer clear. Because for around the, for around the same price, you could potentially pick up a damaged older MacBook or even a damaged older Windows laptop. And both of those alternatives will be significantly more powerful than this Chromebook and also upgradable. As a matter of fact, this video is the first of a series in which I'll be buying upgrading, and if I need to, repairing an older MacBook, a Windows laptop, and of course, this particular 11.6 inch Chromebook, to tell you which is the best ultra budget laptop that's usable from the three platforms. So stay tuned for those. Anyways, please remember to subscribe, like, and hit that bell, 
It's completely free and will be massively appreciated. And thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.